Uber and Lyft are just beginning in their driver shortage. Now, the problem is this is something that is probably going to last for several months because drivers are not coming on the platform as quick as Uber and Lyft want. So does this mean that drivers could actually get some real change or is Uber and Lyft just going to stick with these little tactics to try to bring drivers back by giving them three rides for $100 or just one off promotions? That's what we're talking about right now. Hey everyone, Chris here for Real Ride Share Stories, and today we're going to be talking about how is Uber and Lyft's response actually going to help drivers with getting back on the road, and is it, or could they actually really do something that would better drivers to make them come back on the platform and then stay driving instead of just coming back for a week or so and then not getting any more promotions. So are they going about it the wrong way, or are they just going to shoot themselves in the foot? If you didn't know, yes, there is a huge driver shortage across the country and probably in many markets that Uber and Lyft both operate in outside the country as well, too. As things reopen, as people are going back to work, as they want to go out, have some fun, as they want to enjoy, drivers are not coming back to the platform to try to make any money. And it's having Uber and Lyft throw extra money at drivers to try to bring them back on the platform. The problem is, this is more of a one-off thing, and I don't think people are stupid. So Uber and Lyft, what are you really doing here? Sure, it might sound and look nice to see a $1,500 guarantee or a $1,700 guarantee, but that's a guarantee for 90 rides. Then you got to ask yourself, well, what's the average ride cost going to be, and are drivers really actually going to get any money out of the deal or not? Then you look at bonuses. Sure, it's nice to take three rides for 100 bucks. It's nice to take 20 rides for 400 bucks. But again, that's only one off. Are you going to continue offering that promotion? Or will you actually do something that drivers want in order to bring drivers back and keep drivers on the platform? And that would be raising the rates. And I brought this up in a previous video talking about if there was no more surge, would you continue driving or would you still be driving? So this is kind of a continuation of that, but let's break it down. If this is just a one-off thing and drivers pretty much know that, but yet they're still able to collect unemployment until September, they're still able to stay home. Maybe they've gone on to other things, whether that's different parts of the gig economy, like food delivery or shopping and delivery there, or they found something different altogether and just don't want to deal with Uber and Lyft's crap anymore well, then what is Uber and Lyft really going to do? The biggest problem that both Uber and Lyft continue to face is that they're trying to harp on one thing and one thing only by saying, we offer absolute flexibility by you going online and offline whenever you want. If you don't want to drive for an extended time, you don't have to. But yet they try to put this guiding hand when you are online to be able to do what Uber and Lyft want versus what's beneficial for the driver. So could this driver shortage actually bring something that drivers really do want and would make a difference, not just one off time to try to bring drivers back on the platform, but keep drivers on the platform? And that would be a pay raise, having higher pay rates, raising the mileage rate, raising the per minute rate, wouldn't that be all something that would bring drivers back onto the platform where they're able to make good money again and have drivers that have been driving throughout the entire pandemic enjoy because they're also getting paid more too? Wouldn't it be smart business to do that? Or is Uber and Lyft going to continue turning a blind eye to the fact that drivers really just want one thing and that would be better pay rates? Now, I know this driver shortage is not an organized effort by drivers, but it's something that happened through happenstance when everything shut down and driver demand went down, as well as unemployment was able to be claimed by drivers and a whole host of other things. So could this be something that could create real change when it comes to what drivers want? And it's going to make Uber and Lyft continue to struggle while they're trying to get ways to bring drivers back on the platform and attract new drivers. But 
Don't alienate the drivers you already have on the platform who have been driving either the whole pandemic or coming back during the pandemic. But as Uber and Lyft have to come to the realization that drivers actually drive the whole platform and make it possible because riders aren't going to go anywhere if there's no drivers on the platform. So again, as Uber and Lyft have to struggle to try to bring drivers back, why not do something that will be enticing to drivers to come back and be an actual change for drivers altogether who are coming back and already on the platform. Again, that would come back to better pay rates. Now I wanna open up the floor to all of you. Would that bring you back to the platform? Would that make you continue to drive? If you had better pay rates, would it be more enticing overall to stay on that platform to actually continue working or work more? What would you do? And if Uber and Lyft actually are watching this, what can we do to work together to actually make some real change where drivers will be more responsive? All right, that's the end of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, delivery drivers, and shoppers. And we'll see you next time.